Thank you for joining me so we are going to be working on our base for an album with the eight inch die from crafters companion and this is in addition to the precious memories the original one so when you cut this out this is going to create this beautiful um you're going to have these score lines that we're going to fold and there's some areas where we're going to put adhesive and believe it or not this is going to create our spine as well as our hinges for our album so let's get started so it doesn't matter which side you start with first you're going to fold your very first score line okay and you if you have your bone folder or a scoring tool you can give it a burnish if you like it's not necessary and you're just going to fold the next score line okay and you're going to fold each score line in the same direction okay so just keep folding over okay fold all the way over until you get to the very end so then just like this one two just keep going until you get to the end all right so then i have the very final score line here okay and there is a score line here where your decorative area is. Um, I don't fold that. I don't know what happens if you fold that, but I don't fold it. So I didn't do it on this end either. Um, because if you fold it, you're going to, the score line stops right here. And if you fold it, you're going to actually be folding the whole area. So I don't think that's meant to be folded. Okay. So then now we folded it all in one direction. And what you're going to do now is you are going to just open it up. And as you can see, there are the little X here, this one here, one here. So it's two in this area. Then there's a quarter inch space. And then there's two here, another, another quarter inch space, one here. I mean, two here, another quarter inch space, and then two here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put adhesive on the areas only where the X is. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you use um, some strong tape or you can use glue. If you use glue, you do have to wait for it to dry. So you can use red liner tape. I'm using score tape. Okay, so you're just going to put it only in the areas where the X's are. And like I said, you can use glue. I use both, but the tape does make it faster. So you only want to put the adhesive where the X's are okay and you should always have that quarter inch space in between each two so it's really really easy we are almost done with the major part once we start to adhere this together so it should be four sections pretty much four sections where you're going to have two rows of your adhesive okay all right so and you, if you're using um, this you just want to give it a good burnish that way we make sure that the glue from the adhesive is sticking to our paper okay so then this is what it should look like and I have some extra little tape sticking out here, but don't worry, I'll roll that on itself. I'll show you what I mean. So then now what we're going to do is we have to make these two, um, where you see the adhesive, these two have to come together. So let me go ahead and start removing the backing off the adhesive. All right, so I'm gonna remove the backing off my adhesive. Do one section at a time so you're not sticking everything or just you know whatever just do one section at a time so you see the two areas now we have to make these kiss so what you're going to do is you are going to like pretty much I see what this is really sticky this adhesive so you're going to fold these two together so you can do it like this or you can do it this way it's tough for me to kind of do it and hold it um, you want to be on a flat surface so you're just only adhering the two sticky pieces do not adhere or try to force 
this to get in that little quarter inch. You need that space visible, okay? So look, like that. Just push it over and just bring it down and adhere it together. Like I say, when you do it on a table on a flat surface, it's easier. I'm trying to hold it up to the camera so you can see. And then you want to give that a good burnish because you need that adhesive, both of those adhesives to stick to each other, okay? And how do you know you're doing it right? It's because if you flip it over, you will have your very first hinge. Sorry about that. You'll have your very first hinge. Okay, so we're gonna go back over to this side and I have some extra adhesive sticking out and if you get something like that on your tear tape, just flip it back on itself or you can cut it off, but I say, hey, more tape is not a bad idea, so, okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. You're going to just only bring those two together and you might have to kind of work your paper to, you know, get it to shape it, so. Push these two over only, okay, to kiss each other, all right, and then give it a good burnish, and you don't have to turn it over every time, but I'm just showing you, and there we go, our second hinge, and you're going to end up with four hinges, okay, so then we do the same thing. and just, just kiss the two together. Doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way. Just make sure that only these two are, only the two taped areas should touch each other. Okay. And we have one more to go. And let's do the last one. And once you've done this, once you have done this, you are successful. So then just these two. See, when you can do it on the table, it's so easy. I just don't want you guys to miss anything. All right, so then now you flip it over and you should have one, two, three, four hinges. And what I like to do is take your bone folder or your scoring tool and just go in between each of the hinges just to make sure your glue, your adhesive is sticking, okay? There we go. So then now you should be stuck with your little area here, which is your last two score lines. And that is your front and back cover. So now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and add a front and back cover to create our book. So you need at least eight inches, okay? Because this is an eight inch. So you're gonna have at least eight inches. Now I cut my, um, my uh, front and back cover to eight inches by eight and a quarter, okay? So eight inches, eight inches this way, and then eight and a quarter going across. And that's preference. You can do the eight by eight as standard, but I want my cover to be a little larger than my um, album pages, which are going to be eight inches. Totally optional. So then let's place our adhesive. You have to be really careful where you put the adhesive because you do not want to cover up your areas here. So what it is, is remember, you see that last score line here? that last very long score line, stay away from that score line. You put your adhesive close to it, but not over it or on it or past it, okay? So you just place your adhesive and then you can use glue for this. It may be better to use glue, but I'm just doing this for the time of the video. Make sure you give it a good, get that glue adhesive to stick to the paper. Okay, and then what I like to do, I, there are some little areas here that need some adhesive, so let me show you how I do that. If you have, um, let me see. So what I do is just pretty much, I just peel this off, because you don't want to overlap it, then you're not able to peel off the, um, the backing of this. So then now I'll go and add a little piece here 
and a little piece here. And this is really sticky, so be careful. And then just give it a little burnish, a little burnish, and take those off, okay? And then you would just place your cover. So let me make sure I got my eight inch, not my eight and a half inch. I mean, eight and a quarter. All right, so you will place this up to that score line, not over it, okay? So I don't know if you can see it, but right up to the score line, right up to the score line and give it a good burnish. And then now you have your front or back cover, okay? And then you would do the same thing to this side. Place your adhesive and then glue it right up to the score line. All right, so then we stick this one on. Okay, and then give it a nice burnish. And there you go. You have your front and back cover. So there we go. So then now we need to create some pages, okay? So the way that Crafters Companion um, is intended for you to create your pages is to take whatever size you're going to use. So I have eight by eight, which is the album size. And then you would just adhere one here and then take another one. You don't have to do it that way. You can just use one page, but if you wanna make a sturdy page, use either some heavier cardstock or glue two together. And then this hides the hinge. So one on each side, okay? So I'm going to put some glue. on my hinge and I'm just going to line this up okay line that up and give that a good burnish okay so that is it and then I'm going to put glue all over here also on the hinge on the other side And then I'm going to lay my other sheet on top. And just make sure you line it up. Okay. And then give that a good press. All right. So then that'll dry. And then you now have a beautiful page. Your, if you have some glue areas, mine's dry, it's clear. So you have your hinge covered and your hinge covered. So you have one page. And then you would just do the same for page number two, page number three, and page number four. So another way that you can do your page as well is the die set does come with some decorative edges. So here it is. Um, let's see, I'll take it out. It's like stuck in the packaging. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna fight that. So there's a few here. I have chosen this one. I have chosen this one. So what you would do is just take your pages. I put both of them together so they can cut at the same time. Cause remember we're doing one on the front and one on the back. And then I just put some low tack tape on it and I'm gonna run it through my machine. And then we will glue that in. And it comes with, I believe, uh, four different decorative edges. So you just choose the one that you like best. All right, so, and I'm just going to remove this. Be careful removing with your tape. All right, so I have them both here. And be careful, I have a little piece here that I tore, but that's okay. So then you would do the same thing. You would take your adhesive or your glue, Stay away from your quarter inch. Remember, that's the space between your pages. Only on your hinge are you gonna put the adhesive. You're gonna line this up. And press it down. Okay. 
press it down and then now we're going to go ahead put adhesive all over this page all over the hinge and I'm going fast I'm not actually going to use this album I'm just doing this for video purposes just to show you and line it up Okay, so just line it up as best as you can with your design. Okay. And there you go. You have your decorative page. So that's another way. Now the final way I'm going to show you is a way that it's not, um, uh, you know, you don't have to do this. It's not part of the the precious memories how to um, but I thought it'd be a nice way to show you so what I have is two um, pieces of paper and I've already scored one of them they are eight by eight and a half and the reason why they are eight by eight and a half is because we are going to create some pockets so eight and a half by eight so along the eight and a half inch area you are going to score at half an inch okay on both sheets now I I've already done the other one so that's it now what you're gonna do now is let me move my little album out the way so you're going to go ahead and you're going to fold your score lines okay give it a good burnish I'm gonna fold the other one okay and then what we're going to do now, you can use glue or adhesive um, or um, sorry, the tear tape. I'm going to use the tear tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some on that um, half inch where you scored only on that section. OK, and then we're also going to do it on this page as well. And like I said, this is an optional way for you if you interest, if you're interested. OK. And then let me just give that a good burnish, get that to stick. Same thing here, get that to stick. Okay, and then now release one. And then you can you see this, this is important. Do not put these two folded um, tabs together. Okay, don't do that. That one's gonna go on this side. Okay, see that, that's the other one. That one's gonna be adhered here and then the end of that one is going to be adhered to this okay and this is really sticky so we'll try to get it right the first time or you can just not peel off all your adhesive and just do it as you're folding it I mean as you're adhering it down just peel off okay and then now you should have that and then this side peel it off and then just bring this over to close it okay and then just give that a good burner and then now it looks like we have like a a little pocket folder okay so then how we uh, how are we going to adhere this to our album is you can use glue or adhesive I mean whatever yeah <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use a tear tape and I'm just going to run this down and I'm using this because it's quicker for the video. Um, glue definitely works and then flip that hinge over, put some adhesive on it as well. Okay. And then give those both a good burnish to get that to stick. All right. So how we're going to do this is you're going to take your little pocket folder, right? And we are going to peel off all right, our tape and you're going to let me try to turn this so that you can see it better. Okay. So you see this, I'm gonna open it up, lay it over top of that hinge. Wait a minute, I got a little piece of tape there hanging out. All right. So open it up this is how it'll go on so easy just open it up lay it over top of that hinge oh wait one thing I forgot to show you 
So you can do this with or without the adhesive. If you're going to do the pocket pages, I find it easier if you cut the hinge at an angle, okay? And then just do the other side as well. Just cut a little angle, okay? You see that? Cut a little angle. And the reason why you don't have to do that, but now look, when we do this, it just makes it slide right over, okay? So you just go in and just place this down. And this should line up to your score line. And you can do it this way as well, where you lay it flat. But I try to show you holding up to the camera, right? And then you just press it down. Now you're like, oh my God, the other side. Yes, flip it over. And if you have scissors or tweezers, like I'll show you, scissors will work. Your Cricut tool, weeding tool, whatever, just lift the piece of tape up, okay? And just pull out the rest and then just flatten it. Okay, and that's it. And then now you have a pocket page that you can use for stuff. So we, that is our pocket page. This is our decorative page and this is the standard page. So there's our front and back cover. Now we need to put on a hinge. Now I know I did not use the, do the other page, but this is just a demonstration. So now you can leave it like this, but I find it, uh, I don't like it like that. So if you want to put, make this more sturdy, trust me, it's gonna work perfect. Um, what you're going to do is cut out a piece of, um, now I did two sizes. Now I did, this is one and a quarter inch by eight, which I also made a note on here that it's a little bit of this excess sticking out like when you lay it down, there's some sticking out. So I found the perfect size to be one and three sixteenths by eight. Okay. So for, um, let me show you guys, and I'm not trying to be insulting. I know sometimes we have new crafters. One and three sixteenths is going to be, cause if someone asks, asks me that, I may not be able to explain it in the comments. So you're going to bet one inch and then in between, between one and two inches are 16 little lines. So this is one, that's the first one. So then you're going to go one, the first little one after that, number one, the first one, the second one, and the third one. So that's going to be one and three sixteenths. Okay. I hope nobody is offended by that. I just wanted to help maybe someone, you know, we don't use the 16 inches a lot. So. Maybe someone's like, what's one and three sixteenths by eight inches. So one and three sixteen by eight inches. And then what you're going to do, I recommend for this part to use glue. Like the glue to me is like the best tacky glue, any of your wet glues that you use. I'm using our glitter, my favorite glue. It truly will adhere this, um, I think better than the tape. So then it's kind of like, you know, it doesn't want to stand straight. So you're going to kind of have to work it and just place it on, line it up, place it on. And then once you get it lined up, flip it over and lay it flat on there. Okay. Lay it flat so the glue can start drying. And then what I like to do is take a ruler. Um, you can use your scoring tool, but you may not be able to reach. I take a ruler and go in between each hinge to get that glue to stick. So between each page where the opening area is and just get that glue to stick. Okay. And then you just let that dry. And there you go, you have a beautiful spine. And then look, your book stands up perfect. It's not as flimsy as it was. And yes, you can use heavier cardstock, but still I don't like the look of all of the um, spine showing, but if you do, to each his own. So there you go, you have a beautiful eight by eight Precious Memories album. Okay, so let me show you the album that I made. So I made this one and this is my beautiful album right here. And here's my spine. This is inspired in the front. Okay. And then we open. So here's my page one. 
Well, this is the inside cover page. And then we have, we have this um, next page and this is the waterfall. I actually did it where you can remove this and just your little waterfall. And if these, this is a part of the Precious Memories album set. So if you want to see how to make this, I will leave all of the videos that I made on how to do the little accessories um, in the description. And then this, I have magnets, so it can just go on, um, go right back on, okay? And I did do the pocket pages. I don't have anything in them right now, but I did do it. And then just some beautiful areas for your photos. This is also a part of the Precious Memories accessories. So she was saying use these, what you already have. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to. That would be nice if they can create some larger accessories for these larger albums, um, like a bigger one of these, maybe a bigger waterfall for the 10 inch album. But, and then this one has the perforated envelope. Okay. And then my beautiful unicorn holographic. And then this one here, twist and pop accessory, another Precious Memories accessories. And then my last page, you could put something here or here. And then this is the um, back cover. So that is my beautiful album, eight by eight. Well, my cover is eight, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, but my pages are eight by eight. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys have fun making your albums. I'm so glad that she did the larger sizes because I'm more of the larger size person. Definitely. So yeah, if you want to see my videos on the accessories, I will leave those in the description box. And that is showing this album that I made um, with the Precious Memories. So this is the standard one that came out. So there's another accessory piece, the little envelope, the key. And then here, and this, I'll show you how to make. So check out those videos and you can make these projects for your larger um, albums if you have the dies. So yeah. So that one, and then here's the waterfall here. And then here's one that I did not, I did not use every accessory in the album, just so you know, here's one, this is the purse. And I have the dies, but I just didn't include it on that album. And then this also is another one I did not include on this album, but this is another accessory. Okay. And then the twist and pop, whoops, twist and pop. And I show you, if you have these dies, I have videos on how to do this. So check them out, perforated edge. And then here you have a little slot here. So that's my original precious memories. So thank you so much for joining me guys. I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye.